Hey everybody, I'm going to give you just a short lesson on one of the concepts related to procedure qualification in the AWS Book of Specifications. Uh, this one's going to be kind of related to the M number qualification range. The AWS Book of Specifications has a limited number of M numbers that are referred to for, uh, for qualification. And we're just going to kind of go over the rules for what is and is not allowed as far as range of qualification for M numbers for procedure qualification. So if we go through Clause 5, one of the first tables that we see is Table 6, WPS Data Matrix. All that is is a table that indicates what has to be included on a WPS. So we're not really worried about that. We're worried more about the qualification range for M numbers. Next table that we see, or the next section that we see, is Procedure Qualification Variables 5.2. And it tells us that a change in a WPS beyond that allowed in this clause shall require requalification, so on and so forth. Next paragraph, test weldments, tells us we have to have a sufficient number of qualification test weldments to cover the anticipated process materials described herein. Doesn't help us none with them numbers. 5.2.1.1. Here's something. For the welding of base metals with different M numbers, a procedure qualification test shall be made for each combination of M numbers to be joined. However, so this is an exception, a procedure qualification test with one M number shall also qualify for that metal welded to itself and to each of the lower M number metals for base metals M1, M3, M4, and M5A, and welding processes SMAW, GTAW, GMAW, and FCAW. So, even though there's other M numbers that may be listed in the annex, this exception that allows for welding of two different M numbers only applies to those specific M numbers. So, as an example, if we welded M5 to M5 in our procedure qualification test, then I could write a WPS that was good for M5 to M5, M5 to M4, M5 to M3, and M5 to M1. I could not write a WPS for M1 to M1 because you'll notice it explicitly says welded to itself and to each of the lower M numbers. And there's their example down here. Now don't get the requirements that are in here confused with those for performance qualification. The ones for performance qualification are completely different. Uh, if you use any M number 1 through 11, you're qualified for any M number 1 through 11, and we'll go over that later when we talk a little bit about the welding procedure, welded performance qualification requirements. So this tells us right here everything that we need to know. Okay. If we scroll down to the table that lists the qualification requirements, It is also referred to right here in base metal. Change from one M number to another M number, except as permitted, 5211. We just read 5211. Here it talks about an M number group to any other group, but notice over here that this only applies to applications in which toughness is a consideration. Notice up here, T, qualification variables for all fracture toughness applications. <clears throat> Here's another one, though, a change from one M5 group, A, B, to any other. A change from M9A to M9B, but not vice versa, vice versa and a change from M10 to M or M11 to any other group. So there's an additional requirement that you're going to have to keep in consideration. Oh, just consider... M5s and M9s to have two different M numbers essentially. Okay. But notice the exception for M5, AB to any other. But for M9s, it's only a change from M9A to M9B, but not vice versa. And a change from one M10 or M11 group to any other group. So those are some things you'll have to keep in mind when you review a PQR for an M5 or higher material. 
and that kind of you know that kind of covers it one of the things that's nice about having this as an Adobe uh, Acrobat document is if I just want to find the occurrence of the term M number I can hit control F M dash number let's just go ahead and see all the places this occurs Looks like there's 26 of them we can go to the very beginning go to the top of the document and then start from here so annex 3 basic mail specifications and M number tables good to know page 35 and 39 first place this is talked about is in the WPS data matrix so that means that M number and group number have to be addressed Here's the 5211 paragraph we read earlier. Some fracture toughness requirement. Two different M numbers are qualified using a single test. The test weldable qualifies the weld of those two M numbers and group numbers to themselves as well as to each other using the variables qualified. Notice that's a subparagraph of 5.21.2. Next place that it occurs is in the PQR data matrix. And it talks about the M number of backing. So that is an essential variable. And then the previous items that we talked about when we we're looking at the table. We'll go ahead and scroll through those. Post weld heat treatment. So there's exceptions for post weld heat treatment for those specific M numbers. Test weldments, 6.3.2. Qualifications valid only for metals having the same M number except as otherwise permitted in Table 13. I'll just tell you this, you better go look at Table 13 when we start talking about performance qualification. And there's listing the base metals, another table, so on and so forth. And then there's a copy of it on the welder qualification test record where it refers to it. So having the search function on the Adobe document makes it kind of nice to get familiar with the requirements that are in the book of specifications. If you have any questions about this, again, feel free to, to text me. My contact information should be on the website. Have a good day. Bye.